What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the uh, Nashville Predators and what are they doing as a team? Um, I, I know it's you know they've made all these moves a while ago, but between Roy, Ribeiro, and uh, Ole Jokinen, they signed good second line centers, but they really never addressed the first line center issue. And they tried doing that through um, a trade a few months ago, as far as with Spezza. Um, that fell through. Obviously, Spezza didn't want to go to Nashville. It was stupid, I thought. I thought he was a really good fit. And you, you get Spets up. He obviously makes the players around him better. And then you get Shea Weber on the back end and Becca Rene, who I think will come back healthy and, and be really, you know, one of the better, you know, upper echelon goals in the NHL. Like, he's shown he can be in years past. Um, you know, that, that's a dangerous team in the Western Conference. Um, but, you know, with the Dallas, that's it now another even more dangerous team in the Western Conference. But going, um, you know, with the theme, Nashville kicked the tires on Vanilla Cavalier um, from Philly. They wanted him to eat. Philly to eat a certain portion of that contract. Philly wouldn't, the Flyers wouldn't do it. So I'm not saying the deal's dead. I don't think it's happening. I, I really think LeCavier, for the second time in his career, has an untradeable contract. But we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, they obviously went out. They got James Neal for some scoring on the wing. But here's my issue with James Neal. When he was in Dallas, he was a good 20, 25 goal guy, power forward type. And then he went to Pittsburgh and, you know, obviously took off playing with Evgeny Malkin, you know, becoming a 40 goal scorer and, you know, really more, a very effective, um, you know, offensive player. Obviously, and one of the most hated players in the NHL, but that's the handle out there. Um, and, you know, you look at who's going to get him the puck consistently in Nashville. I mean, obviously, I think Ribeiro and him will have some good chemistry, but, you know, Ribeiro's no Evgeny Malkin. I, I mean, I apologize to the Mike Ribeiro fans out there, but, you know, he, he's not he's not Gino. So, you know, and, and I think, you know, Nashville's younger players, you know, obviously Colin Wilson, Seth Jones. Uh, Roman Yossi, you know, guys like that, you know, will step up um, and, and play heavy roles on the team. But, you know, they, this is – the West is tough. Um, you know, I think the four best teams in hockey are out West in any particular order. St. Louis, Chicago, L.A., and Anaheim, you know, jumble those in, in any order. You know, I, I can live with that. I think we'll, those will be the top four seeds. I don't think they will be. They will be. That's a statement of fact. And, um, you know, obviously Dallas in that five spot. Minnesota is there. So you got, you know, those six teams. So you get – the, every other team in the Western Conference played with those last two, you know, spots, and you know, depending on how the division rankings and wild cards stand to go, you know, it's uh, they have a shot to make the playoffs. I think they're with Colorado getting weaker. Um, I think that's you know they could overtake Colorado because I don't think the Avs are a playoff team, but that's a whole other episode. Um, but you know, I, I think Nashville, I, I think they'll hang around. They'll be in the playoff hunt if if they're healthy, and uh, you know, if this is a team that makes a you know at the deadline. You know, they got the pieces to make a move, um, you know, really address that, that center position uh, even more so, you know, get a legitimate first-line center. But, I mean, even Ribeiro two years ago, like, was right around a point a game. So, you know, I guess you, uh, you know, and he's a very crafty playmaker. I mean, they, you know, they gave up two pretty good players to get Neal, but they didn't give up any draft picks or anything. So, you know, I, I'll take that. I mean, hey, you know, you got you to take what you can get. But, um you know, I'm curious to see how Neil does without, without Malkin to dish from the puck. That's definitely a um, my biggest question with Nashville. You know, my sneaky big question. I, I think it was Bill Simmons on Grant led to that. But and then obviously, you know, Rene's health and um, you know Weber's he's a stud. I mean, he's amazing. He's fucking otherworldly on the back end. Um, you know, I wanted to win a Norris Trophy. You know, I, him and Drew Doughty are both owed a Norris Trophy in so many ways. Um, but that's you know, I think that's, that's neither here nor there. And, um, you know, I, I really, I like Laviolette as a coach. I think he's going to do a good job in Nashville. Um, you know, and I, I think that the young players uh, are ready. You know, Seth Jones, watching him play for Team USA at the World Championships against men. Um, you know, Seth Jones in red, white, and blue is, is a beautiful sight as a, as a good old-fashioned American boy like me. Uh, you know, he, he, watching him play is amazing. Watching him play for the country, our country, is uh you know, even better. And yeah, I got to watch him play in Paris last year. I uh, got to watch Nashville play in Paris last year against the Bees. And, uh, you know, I saw some flashes from him, but, you know, he's still a 19 year old kid. He's got some growing to do. Um, you know, that's going to be, you know, a thing. And, um, you know, Mike Fisher's going to be out for a while, you know, the Achilles injury. So that's, you know, hopefully carries nursing him up well. Miss Mrs. Underwood. Um, but, you know, they got players like Mike Fisher with between Ribeiro, Roy, and uh, Ole Yogan. Um, but they're a wild card team, literally and figuratively, you know. Uh, they're not better than Chicago or St. Louis. That's that's just a statement of fact. But, you know, I think they're, they're a good team. I think LaViolette, 
Um, and I think obviously, you know, keeping the coaches out there and, uh, you know, Phil Housley and those guys will do a fantastic job, you know. Phil Housley's a great guy, by the way. It's just saying. Uh, but, you know, I, I really am excited about this Nashville team. You know, I'm not saying they're going to be contender, but they're going to be better than they were if they're healthy. You know, health is a big question. But health is a question with all NHL teams when you, when you boil it down to the nuts and bolts. But, I mean, you know, if Pitt, you know, and you saw Pittsburgh, was it three, four years ago, Crosby and Walken went, went down. You know, that, that can happen. You know, you just get unlucky. So, you know, we'll see if the team can stay healthy. I think they'll be um, a force. We were, uh, not a force. Course, we are going to definitely a team that contends for a playoff spot in the ever tough Western Conference. Uh, that's all in this episode of the Power Play with CJ and the Nashville Predators offseason. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the, se- the offseason and beyond. Uh, later, guys.